way that I never knew what was going on until, you know, now, of course, I know. I'm very thankful that God brought me to IFGF. And I'm very thankful that God has given me a credible male spiritual authority over me, my senior pastor, Pastor Somi. Let's give him a warm up. <laughs> Hallelujah. And also, the, our founder is a male. Our apostles are male. And I have to say thank you, too, for, you know, um, Brother David, Father. You know, he is an elder. These are all male in authority over me. And I have found security and peace. And my ma the mandate that God has given me has taken in a way. It, it's like a jet plane now. Amen. And that's why I'm confident to raise people like um, Sister Josephine, you know, um, Sister Murray and the, you know, uh, Vanita, you know, Flavia and Amy. Oh, she's with her. Uh, you know, all the different ladies. I am confident to raise them up in ministry and as pastors because I know they are all in good hands because of all this male spiritual authority over us. Our work for the kingdom of God must be done in divine order. We cannot do it our order, men's order. It has to be divine because it is God's work. This is not about women's liberation. This movement started out healthy, you know, setting women free from discrimination, but it has kind of gone too far. This, somehow it's, it has come to this point where it is almost a revengeful attitude towards men. That is, n n that is not right. That is not right. The fifth thing I need to ask, establish here is that I, that women, we women in ministry, we need to have a credible spiritual male authority, someone who really hears God, somebody who knows how to discern, somebody who is really in love with God and anything in their life that is not a God, they, try, they will make it right with God. When there is... When we are in divine order as women, we will definitely know safety, fruitfulness, and support. And one final thing I want to teach here, uh, there's so much to go. Maybe one day I'll write a book. <laughs> I always say I'll write books, but I write halfway, then I stop because I have so many other things. So maybe men, one day, <laughs> whoever God speaks to you can replace me. <laughs> <laughs> with pastor's permission, of course. <laughs> um, um, so I can write some books, yeah? Um, so um, the, the next, next uh, subject here, I want to, um, because this is something that's quoted so many times, you know, to me. Um, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11 to 12. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11 to 12. Let the woman learn in silence and all, with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor usurp authority of a man, but to be silent. This passage has been used so much against me. And because at one time I didn't know what it meant, so I said, oh yeah, that's what the Bible says, you know. What am I doing, you know? But the problem here is those who quoted these verses lack full understanding of the Greek translation and the customs of Paul's days. You see, their understanding is based literally on the English trans translation. And you have this verse that if the Holy Spirit can lead me, of course I, I know that's arrogance. Because, yes, the Holy Spirit is able to teach you, but the Holy Spirit, in the scripture it says, a sign also teaches. True? So, let's, without boring you with Greek, okay, I'll explain this as, as simple as I can. The woman needs to learn silence and be subject to men because the woman is in this passage was trying to detect the men and it was out of their culture. 
Okay, here the word detects means to have power over men who are in authority, whom God has placed in authority. So they are like, you know, trying to come in and uh, do, you know, tell them what to do. There's kind of no respect there. The King James Version is, um, I like that translation because it says, as um, detect here as usurp. And usurp is a really serious thing, okay? Usurp is like women, you know. We women is trying to take over the throne of the king. How dare you try to take the throne of the king? That's usurp. So instead, what must women do? Women must teach, preach, prophesy, and do things in ministry under the overseer of the man whom God has placed over you. So if Pastor Somi said, I don't do this, I won't do it. I, as a woman, in authority, as exercising authority, am under authority before God and before the people that God appointed over me. That is the divine order of God. This is not about uh, woman's liberation. It is divine order. In Paul's days, it was the custom of men to speak up. Okay, And the other interesting thing is that women in those days, they sat up on the balcony. Now men are down here. Can you imagine what distraction these women are doing when they start shouting? That was the, the scenario that time, but this is not, you, you don't read it in the Bible, right? If you take it literal. And it's interesting, <coughs> one, uh, one uh, Bible teacher he said that, you know why? He, he's a, he's a, um, he studies a lot uh, of the Hebrew, the, the, the Jewish culture, the Hebrew, Hebraic thing, you know, the background. And he said, do you know why the women are on the balcony? It was very interesting what he said. He said, the, the women are up there because they were deceived. The men are down there. They, they need, really need teaching because they sin. <laughs> and I thought, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but he is a, you know, he's, he's expert in that, so I don't know. But the thing is that it was not the custom, it was not the liberty of women to just speak out in public at that time. That's why, that's why Paul said, learn to be silent. There are many cultures that we have, right? In India, you know, the men sit on one side, the women sit on one side. It's a culture. It's not biblically wrong, but it's a culture. So it's something like a culture there. there. So again, you see the divine order of God in all these things. So the sixth, thing I, the sixth thing I need to establish is that women in ministry must humble and submit themselves to spiritual male authority that God has placed over them and not exalt themselves to detect or usurp the place, authority of them, the, the men that God has put over them. Woman, say amen. amen. What if the male authority is not credible and spirit-led? I've been in churches like that. What happens? Whatever it is, we must trust the Lord. We should not rebel. We should not be doing things we shouldn't do out of order of God. We need to trust God to work things out and make a way out of it. He did it for me. He'll do it for you. But let God be the one who do it. So to in conclude, I exhort men not to be silent anymore. Your wife, the woman needs you to be in place. Children needs you to be in place. Youth needs you to be in place. The lost people need you to be in place in the divine order of God. I exhort you in the name of Jesus. Right now, I'm, you know, with this burning so much inside of 